Hello and welcome to the Mega Brevan channel. Uh, just a quick blog, uh, vlog rather, um, to keep you in touch with what's going on. Uh, because I haven't been making any videos for a little while. In fact, um, there's one video in the pipeline which is about the front panel, which is here next to me. You can just see that. And um, well, it's in production, but I've not touched it since the end of March. Uh, so since then, I've not shot anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, it's appropriate, really, isn't it? I live with somebody French, so I can say that, so that's not a problem. Uh, so, yeah, uh, no videos since um, the end of March, and uh, we've been very busy <clears throat> getting on with um, moving things from house number two and moving things back to house number two. A lot of exchanging of furniture and uh, throwing away of rubbish and bits of furniture so it's been rather time consuming uh, but it's something that needs to be done and so unfortunately um, Mega Bread Van is sort of being put on the back burner and uh, I've not really done an awful lot to it although it has been very useful in carrying things about but uh, since uh, I last spoke to you we've been to Brantom in the Dordogne which is as you might um, have seen on other videos if you're a regular viewer um, it's uh, a place where uh, we between us and my family-in-law have a house um, which was owned originally by my father-in-law's family for probably two or three generations I think so we're very lucky that we're able to go there now and again on holiday and <clears throat> it's a very good place for um, old cars uh, on my last visit um, I took a few photographs and I did a, a sort of improvised intro for a future video and the idea is just that that would be another video about a few of the cars that I took pictures of which I've done previously as a vehicle safari but it's only going to be a short video this time because I didn't take uh, that many pictures um, but while we were there we spoke to a neighbour who just bought himself a nice Morgan uh, so that was interesting to look at um, unfortunately I didn't uh, take a lot of photographs but uh, I'll, I'll feature it in the future video anyway um, so that was something that I've done since the last time and we went to Brantom in this Renault Kangoo and um, Online at the moment, there's been a bit of a, a debate about um, the Citroen Berlingo um, on Twitter, and I've been saying, singing all its praises basically, the Citroen Berlingo, because we used to borrow one from my father in law. In fact, this, this uh, Kangoo was actually owned by my father in law, and it's now become sort of our second unofficial car. Um, but comparing the two, um, I really did prefer the old Berlingo, and I mean it wasn't a recent Berlingo, it was a Berlingo from about 2004 I think it was, um, so I guess that would be a phase two, it's the one with the facelift um, front end, uh, before the complete uh, model change, um, I don't know when that was, I think it was probably in 2007 or eight or something like that. And since then it's been changed again completely so but i've always liked these berlingos when this 2004 berlingo was excellent um unfortunately i would say that the kangoo although we're very lucky to have it because it's been very useful for uh, helping to take things down to the local tip um it's not that comfortable on the long run um i mean Brantom is 450 kilometers from here and um, as I'm usually sitting in the back so I don't drive, I've got a son permit so I haven't got a driver's license believe it or not, uh, I found it really uncomfortable after after 450 kilometres um, but there's lots and lots of space so that's a positive, there's, you know if you, for your leg room and everything you can't complain but the suspension is very very hard and bumpy so uh, I think we'll 
toddle over to Mega Bread Van to have a quick look at that and then I'll bring this to an end. It's just intended to update you on what's going on really. So um, just toddle over to here. So we've emptied the, the van now. Um, the stuff. There's no doubt we'll be filling it up again so it's all nice and empty at the minute and you can fit an awful lot in there unfortunately you've got a weight limit because the, the payload of, of um, the Mega Multi truck is only 195 kilos but for a thing with a 400cc engine it's not too bad so we'll just have a look in here and you can see nothing's changed uh, it's still a mess cobwebs everywhere just here um, it's it's something I need to sort out but um, the dampness in, in here during the winter is a problem and then in the summer it just gets extremely hot I mean I've just driven it from here to next door and I felt like I was in a sauna it really was hot inside and um, because of the fact there's no insulation up here yet it's just bare plastic the the light fitting is has seen better days it's actually starting to crack where it's fixed to the roof was that the ceiling no the roof um yeah so it's cracked and unfortunately it's it's supposed to just hang like this and uh, i'm gonna have fun trying to repair it at the moment it's not going anywhere but it's starting to crack all the way along this part here so that's going to be another job one of the many jobs to to add to the list so the front end is sort of like in progress i mean i'm i've got to the stage where i know what i'm going to do it's just a case of doing it um i've had some adventures with the riveter but i think what i'll do is i'll uh, use um some some bolts to hold part of it on because i'm worried that the rivets even if i put metal washers on them um that it will split the plastic and i've also got lots of flooring here down in the in the footwell um and i think that's about it uh so it's going to be the light flooring the front end a good clean because the outside has still got bits of sand from when we had sahara rain a few months back it's all very horrible the idea is to actually repaint this but it's going to need a lot of preparation so yeah we'll bring things to an end there um thanks for watching this very quick update um after the end of march i think it's well overdue um and hopefully the next video will either be the visit to branton which will be won't be a long video but it might be interesting for you or the video about part five of doing the this front end here I'll quickly show you because some people might not have seen it before. So that front end there, so the panel needs to be done and repainted and that's going to be the next job. So take care of yourselves, thanks for watching, see you in another video. Someone's just fallen over or something.